Hi. Now we already have some custom Java code for our Maximo application. In order to debug our application, then we will need to enable debug mode for MX server. So let's open up the Westphere admin console. Yep, for the MX server, we have to open the JVM settings. And then check on this debug mode checkbox. And notice this is a port that we're gonna use to connect to the remote application. Now we're gonna save it. And we're gonna need to restart the server as well. After we enable debug mode, then the server will take a lot longer to boot up and also Maximo will run a bit slower. So if we don't need to debug our application, then it's a good idea to disable the debug mode. Now while we're waiting for the server to start up, then we can go back to Eclipse and uh, create our debug configuration. And go to the remote Java application, create a new one, and call it, let's say, max761, and enter the connection details. In this case, we're gonna connect to the same server, so I will leave it as localhost and use the port that uh, we just put down before, and save it. Now, let's see if we our server have already started, but yet, we have to wait. Okay, so now let's try to connect to our application by click on debug here. Yep, and let's say we need to debug this line of code. So I'm gonna insert a breakpoint here. And that's it. Now let's uh, run Maximo as normal. So in this case, our code is uh, we have something to do with the application when we try to create a new item and save it. So it, we will need to use Maximo to trigger the save method here. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna open an item master. Open a record and try to write something and click on save All right. so when we click on save it will run our custom code and we'll open the debug screen in Eclipse here and then we can use the standard debug function like step over to run step by step on each of the line of the code for example For example, we can pass over the next line. Yep. So that's it. I'm gonna disconnect. 